What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing and testing out Mini Bike version 2.0. So we're gonna be running a speed test, a range test, and then a hill climb test with the second iteration of our DIY electric mini bike, which has quickly become one of our most popular builds. If you haven't already watched the build video, I would highly advise watching the tutorial on how we built this bike prior to watching this testing review. We will leave a card in the top right corner right here for that. So without further ado, let's get into the testing of this DIY electric mini bike, first starting with a speed test. The premise for the speed test is pretty self-explanatory. We just took the bike to a long flat section of road, full throttled it until it wouldn't go any faster, and then measured how fast it was going according to the speedometer app, which is a GPS based speed tracking app. So this is based on GPS and isn't actually based on any of the parameters out of the VESC. So it might not be as accurate. However, according to this app, we were able to hit 34.8 miles an hour, which is insanely fast and really anything more than 27 feels scary on this bike. 34.8 miles an hour might not look like a lot on camera, but I can assure you that it's extremely fast and more than enough for this DIY electric mini bike, considering that on our average daily rides, we really don't top out over 27 miles an hour. Overall, I'm really pleased with the top speed that I've been getting out of the DIY electric mini bike version 2.0. It's a huge upgrade from 22 miles an hour where we were pretty much maxed out on the throttle the whole time. Now we can cruise and still have a ton of room for that extra thrill when riding. Second up, we have the range test, and the range test is also fairly simple. We just charged the bike up to 100% and then rode it until it died. As a part of our range test, we actually rode up historic Timberline Lodge Road, which is a six mile long hill that goes up 2000 feet in elevation and then rode down it, and then we rode it in normal conditions, just to kind of get a worst case scenario of range for the mini bike test. We ended up getting 28 miles of range after doing this hill climb test and then riding it. So I'm beyond happy with the amount of range that we've been able to get out of this massive 16S 3P battery. This range is nearly triple what we were getting on the previous version 1.0 mini bike, which we were barely able to squeeze out 10 miles of range and anything after around four miles was really problematic and really not even worth riding. So the fact that we're able to get 28 miles of range with good riding basically the entire time is fantastic. Third and finally, we have the hill climbing test, which is probably the mini bike's greatest achievement. The speed is good, the range is good, but its hill climbing ability and the power on this mini bike are what really set it apart from a lot of these stock pre-built options out there. To test out the hill climbing ability, we took this mini bike to the steepest hill that we can find in Portland. And this hill is no joke. It's scary to drive up and down. That's how steep it is. And the camera really doesn't do it any justice. According to measurements made online by the biking community, this hill sits right around 30 to 31 percent, which lines up with what we got on our iPhone measure app. Perhaps not the most accurate measuring tool, however, according to the level app, it was 18 degrees, which converts to right around 31 percent. So this hill is no joke. If you're wondering what 31 percent is like, that is crazy steep. The power on version 2.0 is absolutely insane. It's nearly three times more powerful than the first version, as the first version's battery could output nearly 1800 watts, and this version's battery tops out at nearly 5000 watts of power. It's got some serious torque and power, and it just cruised up this hill effortlessly. We weren't even fully on the throttle, meaning that this bike technically could go a little bit faster up this hill if we had really pushed it to the max. I'm super impressed with how this bike handles any sort of hill, as you can imagine, encountering a 31% grade hill isn't a common daily occurrence, so if you imagine what it's like being able to conquer this hill with that much power, this is what it's like when you encounter an average hill with that same amount of power, and as you can see, the bike just flies up this hill like it doesn't even exist, 
we're probably going a little over 25 up this hill. So it's absolutely crazy the amount of torque and power that this bike has. So there you guys have it. Those are the tests that we've done on the electric mini bike to showcase what it can do. If there's anything else that you guys would like to see, let us know in the comment section below and we will go run those tests on this bike to show you what this thing is capable of. We are also currently working on some upgrades for a mini bike version 3.0, so if you have any suggestions, let us know in the comment section below so that we can implement them in the next video. Just some final notes before we finish this video up. The DIY electric mini bike is an absolute thrill seeking machine. It is so much fun to ride, but it's not that great in off-road situations. And that's because the steel piping is just not that great of a shock absorber in a lot of these single track and dirt paths. So we highly recommend just sticking to the streets if you're thinking of a similar build. On street applications, this electric mini bike is so much fun. It's got a fantastic top speed, tons of range and phenomenal power. That concludes our review of mini bike version 2.0. If you guys have made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and comment down below what you guys think of the DIY electric mini bike. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to this channel for lots of other DIY electric vehicle content and other electric mini bikes in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.